Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel of Global Solutions. Today, this is DV Blog number 12 and the title of my presentation is Modern Partido Federal ng Filipinas. And for those who may, who may not know, PFP is the official political party of your newly elected president, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. And of course, let's not forget the Vice President, um, Sara Duterte Carpio. And of course, I would like to congratulate both of them and all those who won this recent uh, uh, political uh, election and congratulations to all the Filipinos for choosing a good uh, pair of leaders. The election is now over and the majority of the voters have chosen your real leaders for the next six years. But keep in mind, Philippines has so many serious problems. Voters must really unite and help the president solve these serious problems. I will explain how and show you how you can help your new president, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., to solve the country's problem. Protesting, for those who are interested in simply protesting, to reform or change the government, this will never work, never in, in your entire life, because no one knew how anywhere in the world how to do that anywhere in the world? No one except me. And to solve your country's problems, you must reform, modernize, or change your government systems. I have spent my entire 10 years of my life studying the system of the Philippine government. That was when I was way younger. And I also spent 40 years of my life studying and researching the government systems of the United States of America, Canada, Mexico, Australia, and many Western European countries. And because of that, I was able to develop the only one in the world, Global Government Modernization Program you can have uh, a strong and be able to sustain a democracy if you want to. And all my solutions are in this website and countries and cities are here. This is an example of what I have done for the United States in order for them to change the uh, current uh, system which is having a lot of problems and these are all the solutions that are available for them. And they're spending millions and billions and trillions of money trying to find ways to strengthen the government and they, everything is falling apart. And for a lousy $25 at Amazon, you will learn all this. The political party of President-elect uh, Ferdinand Marcos is of course political federal ng Pilipinas. And I would like you to uh, look at their website and look at this section, what we do. I would like you to read Article 3, Basic Purposes. And they have Section 1 and Section 2 and then A, B, C, D, E. Uh, I'd like you to read and, and then take note that I highlighted in red color some sections which are the most important to me. And if we compare my modern to their uh, standard uh, Article 3 basic purposes, mine will provide you with a lot of details that they cannot develop. Let me show you more. Creating an efficient and effective law enforcement mechanism. They have that. And I'm going to tell you this they will never be able to create an efficient and effective 
law enforcement mechanism. Never create a political environment, etc., for a government that's efficient, effective, and transparent. They cannot offer that to the Filipino people because these are all generic. Ensure, etc., here, studying, researching, and developing a system of government. They have no time to study. They have no time to research and no time to develop because they will be at the Malacanang Palace in about few few weeks from now. I think it's uh, June 30. They will never be able to do this. That's why I'm offering my modern uh, PFP. Section 1. This is now the modern one. They don't have this advanced government and they will not be able advanced government modernization training. This is available now. I can provide the training anytime to strengthen the PFP political party. I am available anytime to provide the proper training. Number one. Number two, bring in all my programs and have my programs uh, implemented in the Philippines right away. Otherwise, you have nothing. Number two, I added this modern way. They will be using the same way uh, from his father, from any president of the Philippines or any president around the world. But they will never have this. Introduction of Police Modernization Program. I am the only one introducing this for immediate implementation in the United States, in the Philippines, in Australia, anywhere in the world. And in addition to that, money and knowledge, I can provide both of this. My program will bring in the money and the knowledge. Now let's, for let's, say, let's say for example, Philippines has the money to implement, to have this, but they don't have the knowledge and it will take them even 50 or 100 years to develop this. It took me 50 years. Eliminate the 4.5 million homeless people, 3 million of those were in Metro Manila. And I said there, I said here, approximately this will be a 25% government fund and 75% out of my program. I can bring in 75% of the money to fix these four and a half million uh, homeless people. That's money and knowledge. Again, knowledge is the most important. Provide with a higher standard of educational and cultural training. Again, etc. Again, approximately 25% government fund and 75% private fund. That's from my own program. That's money again and knowledge. Knowledge again is more important. The Philippine Military Modernization Program. In the past, under President Duterte, they have to borrow money and they have to use a combination of borrowing the money and taxpayers' money. I'm not going to use any of that. Maybe a little bit. But the, uh, also, this is a very sensitive subject and will require a separate presentation. But the money, the, uh, you don't have to borrow money and no taxpayers' money, very minimal. Provide the military and police with their own pension program. Right now, you have MUP, uh, a combined military and police and uh, the unfunded liability of this pension program of the Philippines is at least 980 billion pesos unfunded. You have no money for that. And I would like to separate the military and the police pension and have a negotiate, negotiate with Mr. Uh, President Marcos Jr. and myself how I can bring in the money. I will not be able to bring in all 980 billion a year, uh, probably not. 
I don't know how much, but just like what I said, it, it's a negotiation. Introduce the modernization of all barangays. I was in the Philippines when under Marcos, the older Marcos, when barangays really spread nationwide. And I knew all the barangay officials in the city of Baguio. And I know the weaknesses and the strength of barangays. And so uh, my modern barangays are including those and money and knowledge will be brought in for these barangays. Provide all former NPAs, those who surrender or will surrender with proper education and training to enable them to provide financial support for their respective families. No government money will be used on this program. None. Zero. That's my program's money and knowledge. I can provide both of them. Right now, your government is not capable of doing this. Uh, I've done this. I'd like you to read. This is for agricultural. And I would like you to uh, uh, review or watch DB Blood 4 and 6. I can provide up to 400 billion pesos annually. I'd like you to see my blood, forensic in Tagalog and English. Strengthen, modernize, and protect the fishing industry. This is a combination of the fishing industry and the Coast Guard of the Philippines. And I don't know how much money I can bring in. Uh, this is part of the military modernization a combined and the agricultural program. So they're in between those two. Uh, I don't know if I can bring in, separate a little bit of money from the uh, agriculture for the fishing industry. Continue the projects to provide the Filipino people with cheaper electric and clean water. Uh, I can provide, my program can provide between 2 to 16 billion pesos annually. That's ex excluding the Philip, whatever the Philippine government will provide on its own. All of these programs will include the reduction of the outstanding 12.03 trillion. I believe as of March uh, 2022, the, uh, the outstanding debt is about 12.39. I'm not sure, but you'll have to find that out. Uh, that's about 60.5%, I think, of the GDP already. So, when the new administration comes in, the debt is very high and he will not be able to borrow more money for any programs that he would like to implement. That's why my program is very important because I can bring in the money as well as the knowledge. And as I said, but because of those money and programs, this is the powerful formula for a constitutional reform that is badly needed in the Philippines. All of these modern programs and solutions may be introduced for immediate implementation right after the oath taking of President Marcos Jr. on June 30. Most of the programs detailed above are provided with appropriate presentations currently available on YouTube. That's DB Blog 1 to 12. Uh, start the planning and implementation of the flood prevention program as soon as possible. This is an addition. Reduce traffic congestion in the entire country now. You will have to look at DB blood number 5 and this is the identification number. This program is a global program designed for 195 countries. This is our solution to climate change. Which is in this book. People will sign in Paris Accord that 195 leaders signed it then COP26 and then COP27, all those are useless 
unless they read this book. They've been spending millions and millions of money, and this is only $25 at Amazon. Imagine that. This modern Partido Federal ng Pilipinas was developed in the United States. I will submit this as my proposal to PFP Chairman and President-elect Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. for his review, consideration, approval, and or acceptance. Uh, before I end, um, I will also be providing a presentation on how to build a strong relationship with the European countries, the United States, and balance it with China, and as well as the financial benefits, including military, law enforcement, etc. You need to remember that this is that this you need to remember that this is a once in a lifetime chance to reform or modernize the Philippine government to truly unite the Filipinos, prevent violent crimes. There is no such thing anywhere in the world. There is no such thing as prevent preventive uh, system and eliminate poverty, eliminate poverty. You don't eliminate poverty by giving free food or free anything to poor people. You enable them to be able to stand up on their own two feet. That's just what I did to myself in the last entire uh, 50 years of my life. Thank you and uh, I hope to see you again. And I hope uh, Mr. Marcos will be able to review this and accept it. Thank you very much. See you again. Bye.